Hello, everybody. This is Crimson Chino. Welcome back to Alan Wake. Oh my God. <clears throat> Be aware, oh, of Widowmakers. And we're gonna get started right away. That tree can just randomly break in half. That works too. Logging is a hazardous occupation. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Hey now. Calm down, homie. Nah, nah, nah. I don't want any of this. Come on now, calm down. Please. Why won't you come at me, huh? You scared? Man, flare! Yeah, man, come on, man. What you doing? Oh, to bam! Dang, you got beat up. Ha! Chainsaw ain't that scary. <laughs> it was easy. Just a little bit. I need to get cocky, but. I say, you have no power. <laughs> I have no idea why I would say that, but hey, I said it. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Wait, why would I be going home? I need to find uh, a that I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Why is that car running? I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. Why do I need a garage keys? Just shoot the lock! Oh my god. You make this way too hard. Go to the male restroom. Okay. Calm down. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A 
story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Oh, hold on. Calm down. No need to be running out of restroom and go on a crazy killing maniac spree. I heard something. Might have been just a bird. Do I get to drive? I get to drive. Hey, you. Screw up. I don't want to reverse. Screw up. Boom, son. weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. I've been in here already. Wrong house. Okay, I remember where I am. Um, so yeah, Alan Wake, smart kid. Or guy. <laughs> He's like, oh, all those TV shows I watched. That must mean something. So that means he must want that manuscript. But I don't remember writing it. What do I do? Oh, Jesus Lord, what the hell? Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Oh, I just turned back. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As much as uh, I hate Barry. Oh, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. 
These birds are weird. I have to get in. I'm supposed to beat the birds? Oh, shh. Birdies, no. Oh, hey, hey, calm down. Come on, birds. Do it. Dies with a flare gun. Dies with a flare gun. Come on, birds. Want some of this? Huh? Huh? Yeah, bitch. Billy? You can open the door now. They're gone. I have a feeling Barry's not alive. I have a feeling. Barry is dead. Did I get to kill him? Well, hey, hey Al. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Oh, well, okay. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something, anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. The, power. the blank paper was too bright. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. That is not Rose. Have a great day. Hope you come Rose. back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. That smile. Oh, All right, everybody. This is Mr. Chino. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye-bye. Can you tell me